Hey and welcome, I'm Solo and this is ZN Gaming. In this video, I'll be going over how to set up and use voice mod with OBS. Before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. To get started, first we're going to need voice mod. To get this, we're going to jump over to voicemod.net. I'll make sure to leave links to everything in the description below, but from here, we can select the get started or the get voice mod free. This is just going to bring you to a page where you can sign in. I suggest if you're here on Twitch just to sign in with your Twitch, but you can use Discord or Google as well. For me, I'm just going to sign in with my Twitch. This may make you authenticate it, but first thing you click it, once you're logged in, it should start downloading automatically. And there is an option here if your download doesn't start automatically to click here, but what we want to do is we want to go down to the Are You Looking For Version 2, V2 version. And we're going to click this one here and download this one here. Once it's done downloading, we're just going to install it like any other application. We're just going to give it a click and go through the install process. We're going to click yes. We're going to click OK. Now, if you install the other version, the newest version, it's going to look quite a bit different. So you want to make sure that you get the correct one. And we're just going to click next, accept the terms and services, click next. We're going to leave it in the default location, the programs file and click next and click next install. Once that's done, we're just going to click finish. Okay, so when it loads up the first time, it's going to look like this and it's going to have a get started button. We're going to click on the get started button. And if we're already logged in on the website, it should automatically sign you in on the app and it's going to restart and say warming up and restart over again. Okay, when it loads up now, it's going to say, tell us how you plan to use voice mod. You can click continue. There's a few things you can put here. If you're on Twitch, put content creation, click continue. Now connect your headphones and audio device, click next. We just have to make sure we have a working device and click next and then all done. Once here, we're just going to click explore your sounds and it's going to load up to this here page. It's going to bring us through a couple of the steps. It's going to say transform your voice. It's going to have a next button. We can go through these here and check them all out. We're just going to close that down for now. Now there's only a few things that we're going to need to do in here. One is go to the settings. Make sure that the correct headphones and microphone that you use are selected. Once that's done, we're going to go to the creators tab and there's a live, there's a voice mod live and a partnership program. We want to click on the voice mod live. We want to do this here before we set up anything in OBS. All right. Now, once we're in here, it's going to have us in order to use voice mod live in your stream with Twitch. We're going to need to connect our Twitch. So we're just going to give this here a connect with Twitch. And if you're logged in, it should automatically do it for you. If you're not logged in, it's going to make you log in. If you've already logged into Twitch on your computer, this should just go smoothly and say Twitch account linked. You can click the open voice mod here or just go back to the screen. Now it should show you that you're connected and the account that you have connected. This is just going to give you options. See, it says log in with your Twitch account. And now from here, we can get the extension. We're going to want to add this here to our Twitch channel so that people can use the voice mod that come and visit the channel to use it. Okay, and from here, once it loads up, just click install. And it says you must configure third party extensions. Okay, we're going to be able to click on the activate down here. And now we want to make sure that we set it as a panel and not a component. So we're going to set it as panel one and click done. Now, when we go to my extensions, it should show that your voice mod is here. Just to make sure that it's on our channel as well, we can go to channel and we'll be able to go to your chat and scroll down and we should be able to see it here in the panels and we can see it here. It says that it's live and it shows the different, the different voices that it can do. Now, all we're going to need to do is make sure that our microphone is set in OBS correctly. So let's jump over to OBS. Okay, once you have OBS open, if you have the mic set correctly, so if you have the mic set to your headset and you have this here set in here all correctly, when you jump over to your OBS, all you want to do is go down to your mic, go to your properties, and in the drop down box, it should show the microphone for voice mod virtual audio device WMD. We're just going to give that one a click and click OK. Once it's set, now you'll be able to change your voices. So you can go to the voice box here or you'll be able to check out your stream as well. So once that's added to your OBS, you'll be able to do the action from within voice mod. You can set a keybind as well or you'll be able to go over to your channel, scroll down and click ones from here as well, which is pretty awesome. So you can click one of these, give it a test. It'll say these are free for now, so you can change the streamer's voice. It's only going to be for 15 seconds, 
This is stuff that you will be able to change. I will show you that in just in a second, but we're just gonna change the streamer's voice. This is, it's gonna take a couple of seconds before it actually streams the voice, but this is what it should sound like with the custom pitch. It says it, says it has a problem, but it says it's on, and it should clear up afterwards. Now there's a couple of other ones. You can select them yourself. You can go through and click them, or you can set uh, hotkeys or keybinds, which will make it a lot easier if you want to switch them fast. If you have a, a stream deck or something like that, it'll make it easy to switch these on the fly. But it has a couple, they sound a little bit different, and you can go through and pick all the different ones, and to clear them, you just click on clear. After that, we're gonna go back to the creators tab. We're gonna go back to the creators tab. In here, we can go to the voices, and we'll be able to set the price and we'll be able to set the minimal time so in here you'll be able to set the bits price so if you don't want these for free and you want somebody to spend a hundred bits for you to be able to play a five seconds of whatever one of these here the free ones these are free ones you can add your own voices you can make custom ones as well which is super easy it's something that I'll definitely be covering later on and then you'll be able to do a buffer time this is the time in between other voices so if somebody can't spam it this will also have alerts as well, so you'll be able to copy paste this URL for the alerts that they have included here. So I'm not really sure I haven't tried this here out. You can, you can definitely test it out and play with it. I just only use the voices, and this is a way that you'll be able to interact with your stream, or your stream will be able to interact with you by changing your voice. This can lead up to some funny moments, and there is some ways to be able to do this. So if you wanted to use this here in a game like GTA, you'll be able to set your mic in GTA to just the same way we did in OBS. You just change the mic. You just change the mic to the voice live mic in the game and you'll be able to use this full time. You can just turn it on and leave it on, but you'll be able to set your OBS to your regular mic if you didn't want your stream to be able to hear it as well. So if you want your normal voice on stream and you want this here in a game, you can definitely switch that up. You don't have to put this in OBS. You can definitely put this here in the game and then have your stream hear your normal voice but that's really everything there is to it when you're testing it make sure that you are live i did find if you're not live and you're clicking it and trying to test it that it does not work you do need to be live for these here to be picked up from the panel so definitely keep that in mind but that's everything for this here i just wanted to cover how to get voice mod set up really quickly but there is some other things that i'm going to set up and i'll be taking a look into streamer bot so if you're interested in seeing more ways to use voice mod definitely stay tuned and get subscribed to see that if you're liking voice mod and want to unlock all of the voices and sounds it has to offer, if you're interested in checking it out, I will leave a link in the description below. This link will give me a kickback and will help support the channel, but it does offer a couple of plans. It has a quarterly plan, an annual plan, and a one-time payment plan. I really enjoy this here option, so I think this here is really cool that they do offer this at a very reasonable price or just a one-time payment. So if you think you're going to use this here for a long period of time, I think this here might be worth your time in checking it out. But that's it for this one here. If you think I forgot or left something out, definitely leave it in the comments below. And if you like or found the video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching.